So I've got the Too Faced Boss Lady Beauty Agenda Best Year Ever Holiday Set to share with you guys today. This is the set from Sephora. I just saw that, um, or I should say I just saw and ordered <laughs> the smaller version of this that's the Ulta exclusive to that. That one's also up. This was $58 on the Sephora website, which is the only place that I, I've seen it thus far. I know that they've got some holiday stuff up on the uh, Too Faced website, but I did use all of the products in the palette on my face, which there will be a demo for that towards the end of the video. Um, this set does come with two deluxe samples of the Better Than Sex uh, mascara, which is an okay mascara. Well, it's a nice mascara, but it flakes on me, so that's why I'm not like crazy about it because I don't like to see like flakes of mascara on my cheeks. <laughs> and then it does come with one of the Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Longwear Lipsticks. Um, I'm just not a big fan of these long wear lipsticks, I'm, they're just kind of drying on my lips. So uh, I'm gonna swatch it for you guys though. This is the shade called Sellout, which is a warm nude color. So that's a deluxe size sample of that that's inside. And then on the bottom of the box, it does say that the limited edition Too Faced Agenda cover was made in China. The eyeshadow palette, the bulk was made in the USA, or like the palette, the whole palette. And then it was assembled in the Dominican Republic. The lipstick was made in Italy, and also the mascara was made in Italy. So both the palette and the agenda come in this little zip-up like portfolio. It says, don't let today be a waste of makeup. Um, I was surprised. A lot of things like this that usually come out during the holidays feel really cheaply made. This actually feels really nice. It has a little tassel. I still have the cover on it, but it's got a little tassel on the end. And then the back says, best year ever 2018 on there and then inside you do have um a pocket right here and then a little pocket right there and then there's a little spot for a pen and a little mirror and then the palette was just sitting inside and then the agenda portion of it was slipped into this pocket right here is where the agenda was. Not so easy holding all that stuff up, but I'm gonna show you guys the agenda first and then I'll get into the palette. It says, don't let today be a waste of makeup. Uh, it's really cute. I mean, I think it'd be a really great gift for uh, like a high schooler, but at the same time, I think it's a really good gift, gift to myself. <laughs> because I really like stuff like this and involving makeup and stuff, but there's a little uh, binder on the back and then it's got a little, you know, agenda and there are stickers in here as well. It's just really cute. And then here is the palette that's inside. It is housed in a cardboard packaging with a magnetic closure. And then there is no mirror in the actual palette. This is Too Faced on one side. And then here are all the colors. Um, one thing I can say based off of like, getting all the two like every year I get the holiday Too Faced stuff there isn't really a huge difference in colors from palette to palette there's all there's always a lot of similarity every single year in the shade selection um, in Too Faced collection also with Tarte. I did use all three of the face products and they all worked out really nice I've got them on my face right now the highlighter is very uh, flesh tone it wasn't like really lifting it did have a nice shine to it but it wasn't overdone and then I went over it with um the Fenty Beauty Confetti Matchstick because it just like matched the look. <laughs> um, but these are, they're nice products. The Will You Marry Me is very similar to Orgasm and then you have Chocolate Soleil. And the eyeshadows that I used, I used three mattes. I used Pinecone, Love Actually, and Marshmallowed from the crease upwards. And then I used Unwrap Me on the lid with a little bit of halo right in front of that shade. Uh, the shades are really pigmented. They blended pretty decent. I was kind of missing a lighter transition type shade. The Love Actually shade is a little bit uh, darker. So I ended up mixing the highlight with that color to kind of create that lighter shade. That's one thing that I was looking for was like a matte, like mid-tone light transition type shade. But the shades have nice pigmentation to them and they blended quite decently. I had like no fallout on my face either, which was nice. In the look that I did today, I did use this pine cone shade, which has like a burgundy brown feel to it. But it like on, it really looked like a black eyeshadow. It's what I have through the crease. It's still, even on, it still looks black, even though I blended it out with this warmer Love Actually shade. Um, it's just really a dark shade. So I kind of feel like 
um, all of these deep shades like this it were unnecessary because I feel like they're all going to show up relatively similar on the face. I mean, there's a black and a black. There's two blacks in here. <laughs> well, this one kind of has a hint of blue, but I'm sure it's going to show up black, especially if Pinecone did. So the base of the eyeshadow must be a black pigment. I wish they would have brightened those shades up a bit so you could actually tell a color difference. But I'm going to go ahead and zoom up close and show you guys finishes and then give you guys swatches as well. So hopefully you can see whether or not it's going to be something that you like. The highlighter shade does have micro glitter in it. So that is something to be aware of. I can't, like I do have glitter particles like on my face. So here's the shadow palette up close. Uh, there are 24 eyeshadows and each shade is 0 0.03 ounces per shade, which is on the smaller end in terms of pan size, but there are, you know, 24 shades. The highlighter is 0 0.08 ounces. The bronzer and the blush are also 0 0.08 ounces of product, the three on the bottom. For matte eyeshadows, there are nine of them. You've got Marshmallowed, Snow Day, Spiked Cider, Love Actually, Faux Fur Only, Don't Give a Fudge, Pinecone, Jolly, Deck the Malls, and that's all. <laughs> I will say that Give Me S'mores has got the micro glitter infused in it, um, as does I Want It All. I Want It All actually has quite a few micro glitters, but the base of both of those eyeshadows, whoops, <laughs> the base of both of those eyeshadows is matte as long and uh, along with uh, Santa's helper right here You can see that it's got lots of micro glitter in it But the base of those three shades are a matte base and then again The highlighter does have micro glitter in it and the will you marry me blush shade is very similar to NARS orgasm It does have a shimmer and then chocolate soleil is matte. So let me go ahead and start swatching these Based off of some of the previous uh, our past holiday palettes, I was I was pretty happy with uh, this one. There's quite a few shades that have uh, nice pigmentation to them. Again, they could have been a little bit better in terms of how many dark shades they put in there because they're, they're very similar on. And then these next guys. This shade does have micro glitter in it too, this shimmer. And then these guys, which are all matte. There are some pretty matte brown shades in here. I did use that color to blend out that pine cone shade. And give me s'mores and pine cone. These two shades, these matte dark shades, feel really dry and gritty. I did use the pine cone on today and it is pigmented but it is not the smoothest shadow in the world like in terms of like the grit I guess they're quite dry feeling but you can see they're extremely pigmented I wish this would have went on this color it just it looked black when I put it on and then this next row there are quite a bit of silvers in here And then these guys. Those are very pretty jewel tones. And then this last row, this shade is what I got on my lid, and it's a pretty fuchsia with a purple undertone. I just feel like there, there's a little bit too many blacks and black based eyeshadows in your hair. So that is the last uh, row. And then the face products on the bottom which I do have all three of these on my face today. That does have micro glitter in it, so just to be aware. It is pretty though. And then for reference, the palette over here that is last year's Sephora 
holiday palette and then here's the new one and then over here is 2015 again here's 2017 right there for reference hopefully that was helpful for you guys I do feel like the quality of the shadows and the products in this palette in general are are nicer than some of the previous holiday palettes from Too Faced. Um, I do wish that they would kind of step outside of their comfort zone because I've seen these shades so many times in um, Too Faced palettes. They just repeat themselves and I'm somebody who likes to buy the collections every year so like spice it up! <laughs> you know, but if you don't have a lot of Too Faced palettes um, then you won't have a lot of repeats, but I do notice a lot of similarities both in holiday versions and just other palettes in general. Like I do know that Too Faced likes to rename their shadows too, but it's like the same color type of thing. But other than that, I do like how the look turned out on my face and I feel like the shadows are nicely pigmented and they blended quite well. I had very little fallout with the shades that I used and the face products um, are nice as well. They went on nice and they blended out nicely. Now if you're interested in seeing how these products went on for me and the look that's on my face, you can hang tight and we'll get into it right now. Using a Hakuhodo J511 brush, which is a little angled brush, I'm going to go into the highlight shade in the palette, which is called, it's a hashtag and then it says blessed. Hopefully it's not too dark, it's quite golden. I'm going to put, no, it's not. It's a pretty gold champagne. Um, not too intense, but... And I'm going to put a little right here above the brow, the cupid's bow, and on my chin. Then I'm going to use a Goss number 13 brush and I'm going to go into Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And I'm going to bronze and contour my face with this. Then using a Goss Airbrush, I think this is the name of this guy, I'm going to go into the blush which is called Will You Marry Me. It's got a real like NARS orgasm type of feel to it and put this on my cheekbones. Then I'm going to grab that highlighter brush again and just really buff out the top edges here. And then to finish off the face, I'm going to take this large uh, powder brush from, it's a Chickahoto Beautylish, our Beautylish collaboration, and go into the Guerlain Meteorites, which I'm almost out of. <laughs> I just kind of got some powder left in here, but I'm going to buff this all over the face. So there's the face color done. Um, the highlighter is really like flesh tone for kind of what I'm used to, but I'm gonna go ahead and put on some lip balm right now for when I do my eyeshadow. Then using a Chicago GSN 8 brush, I'm gonna go into the Lily Lolo Eyeshadow Primer Duo, and I'm just gonna go back between the two shades. I'm gonna prime my lids from the lash line to up underneath the brow. It's been a while since I've done something like used a really bright shade, so I think I'm going to go into the shade Unwrap Me, which is a uh, blue. It's got some reflex of like, or like a duochrome factor, it looks like in the pan, but I'm going to take that on a Gloss number 18 brush, and I'm going to pack that on the center of the lid and kind of just above the crease since I've got a hood. That way when I put my eyeliner on I can still see it, but well, it's kind of a fuchsia purple. I haven't, I haven't gone super bright for quite some time. I feel like I've been stuck on the, um, the reds and burgundies and stuff, but I'll probably still use burgundy today. <laughs> I'm going to bring it all the way out on the outside of the lid. I'm going to use that same brush and go into the shade Halo, which is also kind of a shimmer. I'm going to put that in front of the purple shade 
kind of buff it into it. You know what I notice? Like when I'm when I go back and edit, for some reason, my camera really picks up that inner corner like highlight and makes it look like there's a line right there in my shadow. I don't know if it's like the lighting or what, but it it's blended. <laughs> it's just I don't know why it, why it looks like that like on camera, but I just know that's just something that I noticed when I edit. But now using a GSN 9 brush from Chickahoda, I'm going to go into the shade Pinecone, which is a really deep, like, warm brownish color. It's got a hint of, like, burgundy to it. Um, this is the first matte I'll be using, so I'm going to V it out. Jeez, it almost looks... It almost looks black on. Well, I was kind of going for a little bit of purpleness to there, but... It doesn't look purple at all on. Well, whatever. I'll just roll with it. <laughs> that was just not like what color I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I'm going to take a Hakahoto J146 brush and I'm going to go into the shade Love Actually, which is right above that shade. Uh, and I'm going to start blending out the pine cone with Love Actually. Put a little bit of pink back in there. Just surprised like how like that color looks. The pine cone shade. Yeah, and I can see that it's it needs a little help of blending out, so I'm gonna take that uh Chickahoto brush. I'm not gonna pick up any more product. I'm gonna blend this a little bit into here. I thought that was going to be like a burgundy, but the pine cone, yeah. Then grab a little bit more of Love, actually. Then I'll further buff that out in a minute. I'm going to take this Hakuhoto brush and grab the shade. Um, well, that's got a shimmer to it. I was going to grab this Christmas Dream shade, but there's like a satin to it. So I'm going to go into this one, which is called Marshmallowed, and that is a matte. And put that under the brow here. through here. Then I'm going to take this Hakuhoto J5523 brush and go back into that Love Actually and lightly buff that up into that highlight color. Give that a blend. Grab this guy again. And this guy again. I'm going to go ahead and finish up my eye makeup and I'll be right back to put on some lips for you guys. I just have to put on some of this uh, Fenty Beauty Match Stick and Confetti because I just feel like it's, it's going to go with the look. It's like this shiny purple duochrome highlighter. I just like to take a little brush and go like this and then pounce it on like that. So pretty. For the lips, I'm going to do a little bit of layering action. I'm going to take Charlotte Tilbury's Lip Cheat in the shade Pillow Talk and go ahead and line my lips with that. Then I'm going to take Max Cream Cup lipstick and fill them in. Then I'm going to take this Bite Beauty Cream Lipstick, and this is an opal. Like It's like, it's got a duochrome effect to it. I'm just going to like mush it in with the uh, rest. It See that purple tint that it gives to the lip? It's super pretty. It goes with like that uh, Fenty highlighter and then the eyeshadow. Super cool. Even though I did mix in a little bit of different products here and there, that is the overall finished look using Too Faced Boss Lady Beauty Agenda Best Year Ever 2018 is what it's called, but essentially this palette. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.